November the 8th, 2018, TDS. I am just gonna go ahead straight and start with this thing here. Uh, basically, I got just the uh, day before yesterday, I got a death threat from this individual in front of the security. Uh, have uh, contacted security, did nothing but contact owner of the building who have done absolutely nothing to ensure my safety. Um, today is the first time I feel good after uh, I don't even know how long. And that's because basically I lodged inside of this gym at night. Uh, they play with directed energy weapons. Yesterday it took me about five hours to get myself together and that uh, included the exercise in the morning which I did weightlifting and stuff to somehow sober myself together, but effect I felt all the way down to seven o'clock in the evening. Uh, this one, however, this was just recorded right now. I was gonna exit the room and I had the roommate blocking the door, would not let me go out. Uh, and after my asking him about maybe uh, if not 30 seconds, maybe it's even one minute to let me go out, maybe even more than that, uh, he plays his filthy uh, hand on me. The word is about a Russian Chechen. Uh, on what I have, uh, you know, grabbed him and push him away from me uh, and get my, pay myself weight out of uh, residence. Um, when contacting a security, they took the side of uh, an individual against me because there is a police officer from Chechnya. Uh, this is yet another terrorist, uh, along with several others, who arrived here with me uh, the same day I did from Denbuck, from the same location. These people waited for me to even come. Uh, they were somehow injected inside of the Polish immigration system. And I guess that uh, what he had to say about it uh, is what um, securities took the site. Uh, it's interesting to know that owner of the building who had a Russian people here, a Russian delegation, top Putin delegation. See that door right there? That's a... Uh, that's a door right there. Uh, they would have them walk under MK Ultra. They would insist. They demonstrated to men that told me these things. When in Volgograd, and I would like to ask Polish authorities to check the passport of the owner, uh, these same owners appeared when they transported me to Volgograd to Russia under MK Ultra. They appeared as well. And they life threatened on what they're going to do if I'm going to dare to talk against the Russians. Basically, I should be here doing nothing else than dying here in a solitude, in a silence. Uh, you have no idea uh, what kind of ordeal I have just gone through. And what angers me the most is that when I collected the proofs already, uh, they would like to get some more proofs. And those more proofs would be the proofs that would take me to the grave. I don't think any one of you would like to get uh, a brain cancer. Brain cancer is about 30% of the people that survive one. Uh, and uh, I didn't go that far, basically not to even get compensated or, you know, get anything to go straight under the knife, under the surgeon, so he can cut my brain with a scalpel, stuff like that. Okay, in this audio, in this audio, I'm just going to go ahead and I will present uh, the facts about uh, the whole incident that took place. You can clearly hear that um, roommate is very panicking, is concerned because I slept here. Um, at night time, when they start to radiate me, what he does is he just stands up and he gets out. It was just... Uh, the day before yesterday this, that he started to work. Other than that, this man would sleep during the daytime. Entire day he would sleep. Then at nighttime, then it would, dirty stuff like this would happen. 
The individual who performed this type of radiation, his name is Mansur. Uh, this is yet another terrorist, uh, Chechen Russian, who also arrived from Denbak. Uh, and then you have the whole other crew, which I already have talked about. You have a police officer from Minsk and stuff like that. So uh, here is what happened, exactly what happened, because I knew it's going to happen, and that's why I did this. November 8, 2018. I just wanted to pick up my stuff and get out, because I don't want to be in there anymore. And I'm, I'm amazed that owner of the building would go and force me you know, compel me back. Yesterday, they reject me the right uh, to uh, to even sleep here on the floor, anywhere. So basically, I just want to get out. Um, in English, I just want to get out. His friend comes, who also is a KGB dude. Uh, this is yet another Russian Chechen. Uh, always acting like uh, would like to know how I feel about uh, gave me the information about the dude that was a Chechen police officer uh, always playing a card like he is uh, you know down to earth man that he is for the Chechen people and stuff like that uh, but he is used to pull the dirty tricks the dirty stuff like this and uh, again comes and asking me how am I doing how are you doing? Well, today, because I slept here, I'm doing better than I did in the last two months. It's kind of difficult to study Polish language and basically uh, be molested with directed energy weapons and being laughed straight in the face, humiliated even by the children. How is your Polish language doing? It's a little bit cynical, a little bit sadistic. So now I'm doing fine, thanks to you too. I'm asking him to move. Let me out, out of the door. He stands in front of the door like stupid. What he does is, he continues, he would not move away, he compares me to a child, you're a grown up, he tells me, he scolds me, you're a grown up, you're not a small man, we're gonna talk. I'm asking him, I say, move, move out of the door, I want out. He does not move out. The next thing he's gonna do, he's gonna put his filthy hand on me, and that's basically when I grab him. Um, I could have done him a lot of harm, uh, I have not. Uh, the only thing I did was I grab him and I push him against the wall. He pushed back, tried to get me down, and then when I what I did is I put him down on the floor. I'm asking him, I'm explaining him, let me out. Move yourself out of the door. He's not. More than a minute. He replaces, he replaces his hand in me and that's when I lose. The other man inside uh, calls a police officer from Chechnya who is riding the next deal together with another criminal, Chechen criminal known as Mansur. He rushes inside, when he goes to security, gets his side of the story, whatever. Security pays his side of the story. Uh, I call uh, 112, uh, and uh, Polish police uh, would not want to speak with me in English language. Um, they refuse to speak to me in Polish language. Just, just imagine to call the number, uh, okay, in the U.S., they would not have anybody probably who would speak Polish. 
But maybe even they would speak, they would have somebody who would speak Polish and assist you. But I cannot imagine in a whole Poland, you would not have a personnel, a person that would speak English within the whole Polish uh, 112 emergency system, basically. So they refused to assist me. I give them location, everything, I explain them in Polish, uh, except for the incident, because I don't speak Polish enough and because she continued to cut me, uh, he would, she would not even allow me to speak. Uh, so she demands for me to give telephone, to hand the telephone to security officer, but security officer also would not, uh, refuses to assist me. He says, no, I, I already spoke to Hassan. He, he said what he said. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the whole thing once again so you can understand what's going on here. Um, if I continue, the only thing I do is I walk out of the door. Once I push him away, I walk out of the door. That's all I do. I know that at this stage they are completely desperate because it's beyond any doubt about what's going on here. So you can hear me walking down the hallway. That's all there is. That's all there is to it. Um, let me just try to. What I will do, what I would like to do, just for, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, basically to cover my ass, just to play the whole video again. It's also important to know that the, uh, the other Chechen, Russian Chechen, that gets inside of the room is asking um, a roommate, my roommate, to let me go, to let me go, to allow me to go out of the door. And he still would not let go. The guy comes and says, hello, good day to you. I don't want to speak to any of these terrorists here because I got no business to speak to them. You can hear the other guy saying, move, move away. And you can hear my roommate acting like a drunk again, but it's not.
Uh, this is the main terrorist who knew about the whole thing, what's going to happen, how it's going to happen. Uh, they have interjected inside of the system a child, for which I was told under MK Ultra that um, it would just look like him, and it really, really do look like him, uh, and how I have to treat him well and stuff like that. It's, you know, I love children. Uh, I adore children, and that was not a difficult thing to do. Uh, but they also proceeded forward to suggest uh, he, when he was used under MK Ultra, on how there is nothing he wouldn't do for the children. And that's basically including cutting my throat at night when I would sleep. And I do have an audio recording. I have an audio recording uh, where I would go at 6 o'clock in the morning on a, for a job search, for apartment search to the city that is about 10 kilometers away from here, come back at 10 o'clock at night, and when I would say, hello, good evening, how are you, this and that, the only thing I would get, that was about a month ago, in response would be, uh, all that is left to us is to die, and stuff like that, uh, acting like completely stupid, you know, acting. Uh, would he be capable to do the, something like this? I think that he is uh, mentally ill. I think that he could do this stuff. I also don't know what they might have brainwashed him, done to him. This is, this is completely questionable. Individual definitely is very dangerous. Uh, two days ago, he also life-threatened in front of the security officer and stuff like that. So there's a whole stuff, there's a whole a lot of stuff to talk about when it comes to this place here. Uh, in respect to the owner of this place here, the only thing I'm going to say is that I'm upset because uh, I asked them yesterday to change my location. In fact, the day before yesterday when I got the death threat from him also uh, to give me a room, um, transfer me to another room, possibly even get me a single room. Uh, look, they had people in Denbuck. They had people here who had a single room to themselves for the entire month. And these people are unknown. If you Google my new site, you're going to get about 300 million results. 290 million is what I saw the other day was. Uh, and so uh, how can you place me in the same kind of category and, you know, get my things destroyed within the immigration system? Uh, ruined computer, ruined telephone, break everything to me and uh, not allow me actually because I would go to security and talk to them not allow me even to be inside to sleep inside of this gym because I requested this yesterday thanks God today was a really nice guy who allowed me to do so how can you possibly do the stuff like this so they can do dirty stuff like this by the way supposed to go and get my CT results, my scan, head scan results. Uh, I already got my blood samples, uh, results of my blood samples, and there is no diabetes, there is nothing, everything is good, is basically what I was told. They did uh, blood tests uh, in depth. Uh, I am lean, I am very strong, I'm not healthy like American guys suggested. I am strong. The term like this for a 46 year old male like this. Uh, I weigh about 80 kilos, and it's about 80 kilos of muscles on me. Uh, the, the, the proper term is strong, but when they use this type of garbage in you, uh, radiation, well, in that case, uh, you know, there's just so much you can do. And when you are surrounded in an environment like that, then it, that's a real, real trouble. We're not supposed to even exit this place at... Uh, 10 o'clock at night so it's not you could not even go and sleep inside of the forest they created really wonderful rules yesterday when I spoke to a gentleman that uh, a really nice individual a new individual came uh, again as far as the owner if they can assemble the stuff like this if they can do the stuff like this uh, they can assemble within the system within the political system like this they can they assemble Right now, what we have, we don't have anything else here than families of Kadiro, basically. If you can assemble the stuff like this, and you're talking about maybe, I don't know, maybe you're talking about 
15, maybe families. I don't know how many families, maybe more. You're talking about probably maybe 50 people or something like that. And they get also international crew. They get people from Egypt. They got people, they employ international people into it. If you can do the stuff like this, then you can pretty much do anything. This place would be a poor place without Kaczynski connection. This place here, this Grotniki, this is like a center for the attorneys in the entire area of Loc. All the attorneys come here just about uh, maybe 20, 30, maybe 30 meters from this place. There is a center for attorneys. Uh, they come from uh, Loc here to exercise, to, um, you know, to, to, to fitness in the forest, uh, walking and stuff like that. And so um, this is just, uh, how can I say, as well as when I go and I play you the 112 call too, that would be also nice. So you get an idea about that one. So basically this is just a location, very convenient location where um, they... Um, see if I can get this also now. Let's get this one too. Yeah, this is interesting. When they retire also, uh, they move here to this location, it's very it's, this this place here, this used to be like a vacation place for the people. They would come not only from Lodz, but from the whole Poland. They would come here and, and uh, you know, rest. And so, this is not a coincidence, this place is here. The thing is that... Uh, the owner here, uh, if it would be another person, in my opinion, he couldn't do much. He really couldn't do much. Uh, and they promised me, basically, that this is what's going to happen, this is what's going to do, it's going to be. However, the, where, where is the... Uh, where the problem is, before I continue with this, the problem is that after I already have proven there was MK Ultra, uh, after you know you already I got the death threats, I have you know published, I have reported these things, I have reported to the police. There's no need anymore to collect any proofs. Uh, the problem is that you still force me inside with inside of the room with a terrorist, and you know very well what they are doing over there. Um, people know what's going on here. Okay, I'm not going to say anything further in respect to that, but people know about this uh, and, uh, you know, being to uh, latitude that you are actually the stuff that I have talked about and you insist on my going inside of that, uh, inside of the room actually really makes you liable. It makes you guilty in that sense. You could at least say, well, you can sleep inside of the gym. Uh, the gentleman I have spoken to yesterday and have explained him a problem and asked him to either uh, get me a place or transfer me to another location would not do either of the two. Uh, and it's not his fault again. What he did, however, is he got the answer, which I'm going to publish in another video from Warsaw, where he stated that, um, you know, that I should report myself to the Warsaw uh, on the 15th that I should go there for the visitation. Now well, that's basically, that was yesterday, that would be another eight, ye eight days of radiation here. I think that within the eight days, probably today when I'm going to go, they're going to say that I have a beginning stage of the cancer, brain tumor, but within the eight days probably they would uh, do enough damage to me that what probably they would do today, they would say probably come back 
within i don't know how many days and we're going to see if it's progressing how fast it's progressing and stuff like this and that's exactly what would lend me inside of the hospital would give mr kaczynski the ability uh to play with me a little bit more like this uh, or trump if you like because it was a donald trump that assisted vladimir putin in this it was a donald trump that uh, was involved in this thing, he knew all about it, and it was a Donald Trump who insisted in this type of treatment against me. And Donald Trump insisted on my converting myself to Islam to actually become a uh, member of the Chechen, uh, of the Chechen uh, population, of the people over there and stuff like that. Donald Trump is a very dangerous person, ladies and gentlemen, and to have a president who had wife same age as i am who came to miami to pick me up basically with the idea to bring me back to slovenia uh, whose father is a criminal literally a criminal uh, individual who murdered people in slovenia like stasis murdered in germany like kgb murdered in russia uh, that is a very dangerous situation in fact uh, let let's go I will let go and you can you can listen to this conversation between me and 112. Nobody speaks uh, English uh, in uh, Polish emergency system when you request one. Uh, I thought that she called the police, that she's going to call the police, then it comes to me that she wants to speak actually to someone else and not to me, imagine this. Yeah, you want to report, uh, you want to report a death threat, uh, you should have somebody else uh, who's going to report it to you. And, no, no English here. So I go to security officer, but security officer takes the side against me. He said he, he understands Hassan, that's a police officer from Kabiro. Uh, if you speak, this is the way it is. I tell her I want to make a police report now in Polish. She does not want to speak to me in Polish either. My Polish is bad, but I could explain. But she does not want. Uh, 
Portuguese is more popular and Czech is more popular than English, of course. It does um, make sense. Ma'am, I would like to talk uh, to someone, please, about the English. Uh, I should call to the police commissariat. And that's where they speak 15 languages, is what I got the answer. Uh, but anyhow, that I should go to the Warsaw, uh, to the Poland on the 15th. Imagine this. If I remember properly, if I remember properly, um, that's about 90 kilometers from here. Uh, I don't even know how I would get there. They give us 70 zloty. Uh, maybe they're going to give us between on 10, 11, 12, something like that. Uh, I was told that I would not be given money in advance, but uh, that I would go ahead and I would pay this out of my own pocket and then they would refund me the money back. So far, I have not got a dime uh, for the only thing I got was the paper with explanation in return that. Uh, Polish immigration requests in respect to uh, how I should submit, how, how I should con uh, contest their decision about how I'm not allowed to apply for political protection in Poland uh, and it, how it must be submitted in a form of mailing and stuff like this. Uh, none of that stuff was ever returned to me, which I did submit it to them to the Polish mail kept receipts, submitted the receipts to them, and that was the answer I got. I didn't got not even a dime for transport to uh, to the city that is 20 kilometers away from here when I went to the police station to report things. Uh, basically, I didn't get anything for anything. Uh, the only thing I did was every time I did was I threw away money from 18 euros. That's 18 euros is 70 zloty. So 18 euros for the coffee, 18 euros basically for everything except food. That's what 18 euros is that you get per month. Whether you want to buy yourself a copy, a toothpaste, a detergent, anything you want to buy yourself, it's 18 euros per month. And I'm not complaining about that. I'm fine with that. But I don't like the fact that it was maybe, I don't know how much they have destroyed uh, worth of my equipment they have destroyed and even the stuff that I have mentioned here I was compelled to do but I would not get even a single dime uh, refunded back now I should go to Warsaw trip to Warsaw maybe would cost I don't know the girl yesterday told me 150 slot is something like this so I have no idea how this would be uh, 150 slot not really I don't think so that would be the cost uh, but I think maybe about 20, 25 euros probably the cost would be, okay, 
how much is that that's about maybe 80 90 zloty something like that so um, that's not very serious either uh, I'm not sure on how I should pursue that one I did publish the paper though that, which I got on how I should just go there and report myself instead I'm not gonna go into immigration issues in respect to private hiring private place or something like that you already know that uh, they came up even with idea on how that this option was suspended then they came up with idea how oh, now it's opened then I have submitted that was 11 days ago I have submitted them a request for a uh, private apartment rental they came up with idea that um, you know that I should just um, wait 30 days to get approved on how I could go and rent the place and stuff like that you know um, they like me here at this place uh, you just want me to stay here but I don't feel exactly the same way anyhow today is November the 8th 2018 and it is uh, that much about this uh, situation and this report is gonna go to the police with other reports again and we'll see we'll go from there and see what uh, we're gonna do about that this is not really a matter for immigration anymore this is a police matter uh, this is where security of the state uh, type of matter these are internal affairs and also external affairs this is this is where the police should step in and do their part of job shouldn't be inside of that room anymore the day before yesterday when I requested but I was compelled into it and it was really bad I'm gonna tell you um, how do they do this stuff how do they go over my stuff how do they do the damage at night okay you come home because the only time I'm in there is basically when I do the clothing wash when I do uh, when I shower myself I don't even eat uh, I only sleep there that's all there is and so how they do it well they hit you you, you come home tired from the old long day and they the first thing they do is they hit you with this whatever they have these things they have variety of things they don't have only one type of weapon uh, then what they do is I don't even, I don't know what happens with your brain but if you hear 24 7 the sound in your head today is like really good I feel energized you have no idea what how it was yesterday uh, and I think that your brain is paralyzed it goes like a numb basically you go like into kind of coma stuff and that's when things happen that's when they get inside of your uh you know belongings and stuff and they do that whatever they want to do that's how that is okay thanks for watching this video till next time